Good morning, fam, and happy Wednesday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week, inspirational and encouraging message for today. On yesterday, we talked about controlling our speech while extending grace to others. In sticking with that same type of theme as it relates to extending grace and what comes out of your mouth. Today, we're going to be coming out of the book of Ephesians in chapter 4, lifting up verse number 29, where it reads, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. This is a familiar passage that we've covered before, but is in alignment with the theme. Sometimes we are unaware of just how much power we have in our tongues. The words that we speak can build a person up or tear a person down. And the impact that it will have on the individual is going to be dependent upon your relationship with that person, your position and level of trust. If you have a good relationship where trust has been formed and developed, the person on the receiving end of your speech is going to take it to heart, more so than a person that you don't have a developed relationship with or trust that has been established. And if we're not careful, we can cause that person to suffer and experience internal spiritual pain that can and will change their entire attitude and outlook on you and life in some cases, because there is power in your words. But imagine if the opposite held true where you used your words as encouragement and to build up individuals. Not only will it make a big impact on those you have a developed relationship with, but it'll also have an impact on those you don't have a developed relationship with, where there is no trust set yet because it plays a part into the trust that is being developed and built up. Because if a person is always receiving encouragement and positive comments from you, they are more than likely going to open up to you that much more, which helps develop a positive relationship. And it also creates a positive experience that encourages that individual to go above and beyond their norm to help you in times of need. So I encourage you today to give grace through your words and use them to speak encouragement in the life of others to build them up. Allow that to resonate in your spirit today as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian leader that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.